I cannot believe that this guy have named all of his characters Kelani, Kelani, Kelani. Kalani. Hey folks, this is Kalani. The War Within expansion is right on our doorstep. The release date is set for August 26th, so that doesn't give us a lot of time to check all of our boxes on our big to-do lists. Pre-patch will most likely start up sometime next month, and we only have two months until the expansion launch itself. So let's go through everything to do before the War Within releases, some things that will get harder as we get closer to launch, and some things that probably aren't worth your time, just to make sure we can all get ready for the new expansion in the most efficient way possible. Nice. Now before we jump in, be sure to hit up that like button and subscribe so you never miss another video. You know what? I never do that and I hate when people do that, but I'm, I, I'm, I feel like a generous man today, so I just click the like button before I watch the video. Yeah. Let's kick things off with Season 4 of Dragonflight and all of the rewards that are ticking away day by day. To start with, there are various rewards from clearing the raids on Awakened mode. If you clear all three raids on Normal difficulty, you will earn yourself a Voyaging Wilderling mount, which looks pretty cool. If pretty you clear cool. all three Awakened raids on Heroic mode, you'll get the Awakened Hero title. And then for clearing them all on Mythic, you will unlock Teleport spells okay. to each of the raid entries. Basically, nothing that I care about uh, you... You kind of want to clear every raid in every difficulty so you can earn mount, title, and raid teleport spells. I kind of not interested about that so let's see the other things that are worth. Something else you will probably want to do before season 4 ends is to spend your bronze bullions. These vendors will most likely disappear as we... Okay, I, I don't understand the this uh, to try to get some gear before War Within, because basically when War Within comes out, you're gonna change your gear almost immediately, so don't try to bullshit me with all the gear stuff so then we also have quite a few mythic plus rewards that will be going away as well if you can obtain a mythic plus score of 1500 or above you'll earn yourself the keystone conqueror achievement which rewards you with the draconic title which okay basically he's trying to say that if you do all the mythic plus and raids you're gonna get a lot of achievements i think people who are hunting for those achievements already got these achievements pvp deadlines Mets. And then we have the same kind of deadlines for Season 4 PvP rewards. This includes the Season... Yeah, these people are also aware of these deadlines. Mr. Pandaria Remix deadlines. This... I kind of wanted to get these. Yeah, more tryhard collector BS. Yes, exactly. If, if you want to uh, do achievements and mounts and uh, titles, you're going to care about this stuff. Me personally, I don't, but I understand people who do care. Uh, just keep in mind, if you haven't done them, uh, Raid, Mythic Plus, PvP, Mob Remix, we're covering Mob Remix now. Wards. The other major deadline that you need to be aware of is the Mr. Pandaria Remix event and when it ends. Whenever you log in, you should see a big days remaining notice on the top left of your character select screen, telling you how long the Mr. Pandaria event will be running for. I cannot believe that this guy have named all of his characters Kelani in some way. Do you see that? Kelani. 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 Kelani Priest. Kelani. Kelani DH. Kelatir. Kelani. 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 Honestly, I used to be like that with my personal name, but it's crazy. So at least that's nice and obvious, and you don't have to do any actual work figuring out how long we have left. The Remix event offers quite a few different activities and rewards, but the- Oh, you can actually buy them all with bronze? That's pretty good. The main two are going to be the massive amounts of collectibles you can unlock, <gasps> and the ability- I kind of want this dragon, but I, I'm not sure if I have all these bronze, but I kind of- on this dragon. I, I might need to go to Remix. I might need to go to Remix. You need to quickly level up your ult. Everything in this event is going to cost bronze, which is a very simple currency to farm. You can either do the raids, focus on completing daily quests, or just leveling up multiple characters. There are vendors who sell mounts, toys, and a mountain of transmog, so if you are interested in picking up any of this stuff, you do- Wait a second. I, I kind of want to go into WoW. I have almost 10k, which means I can already buy some mounts here. Is this 
This is a crane. I don't care about the crane. This is what we are aiming for. Oh, I need level 35. I need 1800. I'm halfway there. Special BMAH vendor. So let's see. The event. Now, something that you may not be aware of is a special black market auction house vendor that has some time-limited goodies that will also be going away around about the same time as the expansion launch. Mr. Zulan sells a bunch of gold-related items, some mounts. gold scarab mount, golden weapon skins and gold models, scarab. and some troll-related armor transmogs as well. The only big catch here are the gold costs. These are supposed to be huge gold sinks, so if you want to pick up any of this stuff, you are going to need a lot of gold. What's interesting is that the vendor specifically says these items will only be available until the end of August, which lines up with the release of The War Within. So basically, when The War Within starts up, all of these items will move to the Black Market Auction House, so they will be much harder to get your hands on, and they'll probably end up being a lot more expensive as well. So if you want any of these goodies, and you have the gold to spare, they won't stick around forever. If you've got all of your end of season stuff done, okay, or maybe nice. you're just not that interested, now is also the perfect time to get your alts all leveled up. Not only will nice. this give you plenty of choices for which characters to play in the War Within, but leveling up your alts could also have quite a few additional benefits this time okay, around. Okay, of course I'm gonna level my alts system. This is what I'm doing. Move us more towards I'm gonna do. White progression instead of character specific progression. Things like renown levels will be shared in the War Within. Progress through certain features and systems should carry over between characters and. All in all, you should be able to swap characters much easier without losing. Okay, anyway, any professions, any progressions is are, is going to be transferred to all your characters. Uh, so level up your alts. That's one thing that I'm going to do and meet Sapandaria so far. So let's see the other thing that I need to do before War Within. One class I would recommend absolutely everyone at least creates. That's not what we have. Would be an evoker. Right now in the live game. No, no, no. Uh, what I'm going to say about evoker is I enjoy dragonflight, but I don't enjoy evoker. You can decide what uh, you're going to do. Okay. Could start at level 58, but the entire leveling process for an evoker will be changing. In the War Within pre-patch, evokers will start down at level 10, like the allied races do, so if you wait to make an evoker until after pre-patch goes through, you'll basically lose 48 levels worth. I mean, you lose, but the thing about evoker, I personally don't like the fact that if you start with a high level character, all of your spells are already there. You don't have anything to learn. I really like the ability to just start level one, you have one spell, on level two you have another spell, you figure it out where to put it on the bar, where it's comfortable. So I kind of would appreciate if uh, I start as level 10 evoker, not uh, 58, because it's not the age. If you played in Legion, Demon Hunter was absolutely the best. Yeah, storyline wise, maybe it makes sense, but uh, as a as a player, it's really hard to figure out which what spells does what how is important is it and you're constantly trying to figure out you know but the age leveling where you start with three spells and you get them by questing that was awesome you know that was absolutely awesome i i love that now when you're saying it but the time and progress these changes are coming okay what's next so you want to at least make the line Pick it's your also a time to start thinking about professions professions in the world since I'm doing professions now in Cataclysm, I kind of don't want to go through the same process right now in Dragonflight. Maybe if the professions are like only until 100, maybe I'm going to think about it. And depending on how much materials I gathered through leveling my alts, maybe I'm going to consider it, but I don't think so. So level up your alts, get that evoker created and sort out your professions. Great. But what about gear? Something that always comes up in these videos is what item level do I need to be for the new expansion? Should I gear up all of my alts? And for right now, I would say it's not really necessary. It's really easy to get some great gear if you want to put in the time, thanks to the bully and vendor and season four, but you don't really need a super high item level to get through the questing experience in a new expansion it helps for sure but it's not really required exactly so it's not the find the right, right guild for you as all of you know i myself in cataclysm have guild and i'm gonna remake that guild in retail as well so anyone who is searching for a guild you're invited i'm i won't even watch that section clean out your bags of course don't forget the bank of course 
And that quest log looks messy too. Okay, more storage coming soon. What is this? Wait a sec. Now, while we're on the topic of clearing space and general housekeeping, it is important to note that we... Oh, or band bank. So you have shared bank with some characters. That's... I'm not gonna lie to you. He, he brought a lot more points that are super useless, but... You know, I get it why he wants to do 22 minute video. So, Lady Man Hunter in start of BFA with no gear was the hardest leveling in my life. Dude, no way. It was the hardest. No way. I don't know that experience because I have heirlooms and I have had heirlooms from Cataclysm. So, I don't know that, what, what that feeling is like, but um, I guess it doesn't matter how, how geared I am for War Within. When I was starting Dragonflight, at the beginning, it was feeling that it is hard, but you know, it's it's because I was playing Evoker and I was not sure what I was doing. But with the time, you kind of learn the class and you understand what you're doing and everything is becoming easier and easier. But I gave that guy a like, so he asked for it and I gave it, so <laughs> I done my job.